Hey everyone, how's everybody doing? Um, it is 8.06 in the morning, Friday the 24th of March. And I'm about to embark in a three-day makeover marathon in Willie's room. I'm gonna be here every day for 13, 14 hours, if not more, because I have to do this entire room over. So if you remember when Edward went to Disney World, um, I think it was his first year in high school, I redid his room as a surprise while he was away. And he liked it. The only difference is that he wanted to keep his wall colors which you know is red, white, and blue. Willie, at the time, uh, was um, moved, at around that time, was moved to this room, which used to be the guest room. But when I did it, I didn't really redo his room. And we decided that when he was going to enter high school and go to his trip to Disney, that's when I would do the room, exactly the same way I did with Edward. So he was in agreement with that. The only problem is by the time he made it to high school, we were in the middle of the pandemic. So there was no Disney trip. The Disney trip was um, two years delayed. <laughs> so he's going this year in 2023. He was supposed to go in 21, they couldn't make it. 22, they couldn't make it. Uh, they went to Philadelphia, I think. And Willie didn't go. He didn't go because we were still, you know, there was still a lot of COVID going on in Philadelphia at that time. And the trip was very limited to what they were going to be able to do anyway. So he didn't go. So he's in Disney right now. He left Wednesday morning super early. <laughs> we had to wake up at two o'clock in the morning, take him to the uh, school so they could take the bus to go to Newark Airport. Uh, so the bus left at three. They got to the airport around four. I think the flight was around six. They arrived at Orlando around 9.45. They were at the hotel, uh, the All Star Music Resort, um, around 12.30. And on the first day, they did Hollywood Studios. Yesterday, Thursday, they did Animal Kingdom. Today, and I'm super excited, today, they did Magic Kingdom but it's a band trip, okay? They're going with the marching band and the color guards. This morning at 9.15, they are doing their parade, their marching band parade on Main Street in Magic Kingdom. Edward did it at Epcot. These guys are doing it on Main Street. And the cool thing about it is because of all the equipment and everything, they're actually going backstage. You know, backstage Disney is a big deal. It's like, you know, you're part of the performers. <laughs> so. 99% of the people going to Disney never get to see backstage. So he's going to go backstage and it's going to be live on their Facebook page this morning. So at around 9.15, I'm going to check out, which is not too far from now. And I am going to watch my Willie marching on Main Street. Tomorrow, they're doing Epcot and they're coming back Sunday. So by the time he's back home, it's going to be around 9.45 p.m. Sunday. So I have all day today, all day tomorrow, and pretty much all day Sunday, three days to redo this room. So what's going to happen? Several things. First, I just want to say that everything I'm doing is Willie's choice. Um, he didn't want a surprise. He wanted to be able to pick the stuff. So everything I'm doing, it's his choice, except a very few items, which are no big deal. You'll see when we get there. So we're changing the color. If you remember, don't mind my vacuum cleaner, the uh, old guest room was melted butter and this um, green color, which I forgot, <laughs> something garden uh, or herbs or whatever. And this is not actual white. This is that cotton whisper that I really like. And again, when I moved Willie to this room um, to separate the boys because Edward turned 13, I didn't have the time to redo the room back then, right? So it was about six and a half, seven years ago. Now it's time to do it because he's finally going to Disney. So what color is, is he picking? He's picking blue. He wants a uh, light blue on top and a dark blue at the bottom, same white um, contrast. 
and I'll put the colors right here. So this one is called uh, Spa Day and this one is called National Anthem. So these are the two colors that the room is going to be. Uh, so the entire room is getting painted. I'm going to do the ceiling because I didn't do it when we moved in. Uh, we really didn't have much time to redo the whole house and I was coming in from where we used to rent in Fort Lee. I was coming in every night for two or three weeks to bring in stuff, uh, you know, big boxes, containers or whatever, and paint. And I did not paint the ceiling. So the ceiling is getting painted. All the walls, all the walls are getting painted. His bed, which you're gonna see in a second, is out. Removing the bed, we're removing his desk and his chair. Willie wants a loft bed. So I bought a loft bed. <laughs> he picked the loft bed and underneath the loft bed is going to be an L-shaped computer desk with a computer um, chair. So he's gonna have more room. Yeah, I totally outgrew that little desk at this point. Um, so he's gonna have more room. He's also getting a rug, a large area rug. It's all in blue and new bedding. Uh, what else? He wanted a bean bag. And I told him I couldn't get it. I lied. <laughs> the bin bag is coming in either today, uh, no, either Saturday or uh, mid Sunday. So there will be a bin bag because he has no chair if he's on a uh, uh, love bed. So he's getting a bin bag. Um, what else? We decluttered. We spent the whole week last week when I came back from work, uh, we decluttered. So we got about maybe 30-40% of his stuff out of here. Mostly clothes, two 50-gallon bags worth of clothes, a lot of books. They are in boxes on the front porch, ready to be, you know, uh, little by little, put into the little library. And what else did we declutter? A whole bunch of stuff. Old toys, all the Legos are out. Um, they are going to go into the attic with the rest of the Legos. Both kids do not want the Legos to be donated or thrown out. They want to keep their Legos. Whatever, I have the room in the attic. They can go in the attic. Um, so we decluttered and now I'm ready to start. So the thing with this makeover is that I have to be super methodical. One, because I really stretch for time and two, because I want to do it in a way that makes sense and doesn't kind of like um, interfere with each other in terms of task. So I'm going to give you a before tour. And if you're on Patreon, you're going to see after this before tour, you're going to see the after tour. <laughs> and if you're on YouTube, um, this is going to be separate videos, uh, definitely for the three days and maybe a fourth one if I want to separate the, um, uh, or fifth one, if I want to separate the uh, assembly of the desk and assembly of the bed uh, differently. So for Patreon folks, your exclusive content is going to be uh, the before and after a good week, if not a week and a half to two weeks prior to everybody else. Everybody else, you're seeing the whole process. Um, so let me give you a tour, tell you where we at, what I'm doing, what I plan on doing, and then I'll get started because today I actually have to uh, move the furniture out of here um, and start painting. And welcome to Willie's room. I'm in the far corner right by the entry door. So this is uh, the room as he left it when he went to Disney. So let me give you a quick tour right here. So we have a double window that goes on the street. Lots of sunshine here. This is why last year I started my seeds here. Um, this is a, um, oh, I think it's made in South Carolina. It's not a Hankel Jenkins, but it's, a, it's another a uh, high brand of um, furniture found on the street. That's been his dresser for about a year now, uh, if not more. And these are his bookcases. So you can see that a lot of it has been removed. Um, there used to be really big boxes of Legos and stuff. This is all gone. 
we decluttered quite a lot of books and here's the entry door let me pull out a little bit here we go you'll see better um yeah over here there's nothing going on um he is using my air purifier and then here's his desk so that was a little desk that he had uh, before he had a computer you know when he was a little guy um let me see he was nine years old maybe when i moved him here or 10 years old and now mr uh, graphic designer has himself a uh, graphic design tablet and uh, a computer, which actually is my old computer because Edward bought himself a uh, gaming computer. You got to see the size of that thing. Uh, so that's the desk and the chair. I have to remove this desk, this chair, and this little thing here. This is all out. This is his old bed. I'm keeping the mattress, but the entire bed is out. This is old. This is Scott's old dresser. Uh, which basically is empty <laughs> and there's nothing in it because we decluttered quite a lot okay look at that I mean this thing was full um, if I can put it underneath the new desk uh, it will go there otherwise it'll go on the side and I'm gonna keep it for all of his paper supplies and things like this because uh, the desk doesn't have any drawers and yes yeah, so this is the uh, dresser um, really really nice and again we emptied most of it um, you're not gonna see a lot of clothes because a lot of it is in the um, wash and then I'm we're also buying new clothes because uh, mr. here finally grew <laughs> had a growth spurt and uh, he's taller than me now so he's actually wearing in height he's wearing 1820 um, but he's still very skinny so that's the room Okay, and that's the before. Um, all of this is got to be painted. So, order of business. Uh, first things first. I need to change these. I'm not, I don't want to blind you. Let me turn off the light. Okay. I want to change these. Because these are the original ones that are clear. And ideally, what I would have wanted was to change the blades to white. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but I did buy new shades, glass shades, and I purchased white ones, frosted white. Uh, the only thing is that I only got three. In my mind, it was three. It's actually four lights. So, yeah. So that's going to be the first order of business is to change the shades and the light bulbs. I got new light bulbs that are daylight because I want to have as much light as possible. Second order of business is taking down these shears and putting them in the wash. Then I'm going to tackle the leftover holes that are here from the old, um, I hope you can see them, from the old curtain rod. So I have to patch all of these. So that's, um, you know, plaster work. Then I need to remove everything that's a nail, um you know there's a few nails here and there hooks everything that was on the walls and i also have to patch that once that's done all of the furniture that you see here has got to go after that i'm still on, on friday here okay after that all of this stuff here has to be brought into the center of the room then for today i'm going to paint the ceiling and paint the um trim the molding on top and do all of the white uh paint so the doors the chair rail uh the baseboards um the heat board everything is getting repainted so that's today tomorrow and if i have time i'll start the blue tomorrow i'm painting everything uh while it's being painted i'm going to wash the floor really thoroughly even though you know i mean it's i've cleaned it and vacuumed and mopped it it was really really bad underneath his bed i'll throw it under the bus i have no problem saying that um and he, he you know i mean he's a kid that's what they do um so i'll wash all of this very thoroughly while this is drying on coat number one then i'll do coat number two once that's done i'm putting all of this back against the wall that's still Saturday all right 
and bringing in the big rug. On Sunday, if I have time, I'll start putting furniture together. On Sunday, I'm building the loft bed. So Willie wants his loft bed to be from here to here. So we measured in height. He's not going to be near the fan, um, you know, the ladders on this side. And then the L desk goes right underneath it. So that's going to leave him this entire space here empty. And that's where I'll have the bean bag. In the corner over there, I actually bought him. That's something he doesn't know about. I bought him one of those corner shelves that's really cool it's like a, um, a zigzag thing and on there I'm gonna put all of his I can't find them where are they he has a ton of little figurines what did he do with them maybe he put them in there nope nope I'm trying to figure out where did he put all of his little figurines well I can't find them. <laughs> Maybe he took them with him. I have no idea. Um, the, oh, anyway, they're like plastic figurines from some show that he used to watch. Um, Gravity Falls, something like that, I think. I think that's the name of it. Um, so that's why I got the shelf to put all the figurines on. And so he doesn't know about that. And then he's a big fan of uh, a Japanese anime show called um, Madoka Magica and I got him a poster of that that's like one of those scroll posters so that's gonna go on one of the walls and after that it's whatever he wants for decor um, you know so on Sunday I'm finishing up everything in terms of assembly of the bed and the desk and then it's just decorative stuff putting that shelf up um putting the uh, bean bag thorough cleaning even though we cleaned everything okay there's no dust <laughs> everything that includes on top there's no dust so everything's been clean so i'm not going to i'm not going to get you know out of breath or anything it's been really thoroughly vacuumed and mopped um in preparation of my doing this so let me get started. First order of business, change the light bulbs and those um, shades. What I need to do is probably either have Scott go or I'll go at some point to the Home Depot and get the fourth one that I'm missing. And then I'll get started. Um, disassembling the bed is gonna be something else, but we'll see. Okay, let's get started. So this is my bag of supplies. And then these are the uh, new shades. Um, see, I got frosted white. He hates the ceiling light, and I think it's because he doesn't want to see the bulbs. I don't blame him. And uh, the shades are transparent. And then I got daylight bulbs. <laughs> So let's see if the daylight bulbs make a difference. Nice. And this is going in the wash. And boy, do they need it. I'm on the computer uh, on the band's uh, page and they're supposed to go live any time now so pretty excited here they are here they are here they are this is so exciting <laughs> Here he is! 
was cool. I gotta turn my eye. I saw my willy. They're still going. I don't know. I don't know if she's following them. This is so cool. Well, that was Willy at Magic Kingdom. I got stuff to do. When we consolidated all of these Legos and picked the ones that had to go in the attic, I ended up getting a whole bunch of boxes like this. And I want to use them to get a little content on the desk. Because all of this is getting reorganized. Uh, on his new desk, I got him like new compartment stuff with drawers. We'll see. This was a job. Um, this was a job. So it's 11.30 in the morning and the bed is removed and the desk is removed. I need to bring all of this downstairs to set up the house. So I have to go uh, on the curb, uh, except for the big planks. These I'm going to keep because I can cut off the edge here where I have the uh, holes for the car carriage bolts, um, so that'll go in the garage. Everything else is on the curb. This bed, we used to have two, if you remember, uh, that was a street find. Uh, so I found two twin size. And then when we moved Willie to this room, we took out one bed and that's the one that was left. Um, and then the black frame, I believe was a Walmart um, thing. Anyway, here's Scott. Coming back from walking the pooches. And yeah, I mean, it's a nice room. When we moved in, there was blue carpeting. And I removed the carpet. And let me tell you, that was the first time I removed carpet. And I did not refinish the floor underneath it. And the floor is the same than, you know, the rest of the house. And I don't know who sanded it. Um, but if you see here, look at that. You see all the dips? Uh, so whoever sanded that floor initially did a um, choice word <laughs> job at it. But anyway, I don't think I would do any better. Um, this floor is just going to get really, really cleaned and rejuvenated. We have to rejuvenate, but it doesn't really matter because I'm getting a rug that's going to be about this whole size here. Huge rug. I think it's a 9 by 12 that I purchased, something like that. Um, so yeah, all right, I got to take a break. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm having a coffee break. Uh, it is 12.15. And I'm going to start the um, ceiling. So for the ceiling, I got flat uh, white paint. That is ceiling paint. Uh, and yes, actually I learned the hard way. <laughs> that there is a difference between regular paint and ceiling paint. Ceiling paint is thicker, therefore it doesn't splatter all over and it doesn't drip on your face and your glasses. And again, learned that the hard way. Uh, I have zero arm strength. I just want to preface that. So I 
gotta be honest, I'm doing one coat. <laughs> I'm doing one coat. And then I'm gonna tackle the rest. So, uh, good thing, because I know that a lot of you are not impressed with my organization skills and my DIY projects. Uh, neither am I, so that's okay. <laughs> um, there's a method to the madness, you know. There was a reason why I wanted to do the um, tool room downstairs before I did this room. Uh, because I was able to go downstairs, make myself uh, a little toolbox here that has everything I need. Everything I need. <laughs> so, I went to the Home Depot yesterday um, because I needed more brushes. Uh, in particular, not the rolls, I needed brushes like this. So I'm not going to use that yet. Okay. fan of the paint I'm gonna have to try another brand next time um, I mean it's drying right now but it's it's still dripping so I have some spots I gotta clean on the floor uh, but it's just not a really thick opaque coverage it's not uh, so I'm a little disappointed with that what I'm gonna do is go around the edges and finish the edges and then I'm gonna switch brushes and start with my cut and whisper and do the crown molding around, uh, do the doors, chair rail, baseboards, and window. Then I'll eat lunch, and when I'm done with that, um, I'll come over here and I'll start doing the corners with the blues. Um, I'd like to do two coats at the corners, so that tomorrow, <laughs> I just have to do the middle part. Two coats at the middle part. Um, I'm not concerned that it won't cover or that the yellow will shine through or sit through or whatever, show through, um, because I'm telling you that bare paint with the primer is awesome. You don't need to prime. Um, you may have to put three coats, but you don't need to prime. So what I'm gonna do is, again, do the edges. And then when I come back, we're starting <laughs> the cut and whisper. Whew. Um, what did I start? 8.15, right? 8.15. It's uh, almost 2 o'clock. Six hours already? Oh boy. Okay. Um, cut and whisper. <laughs> I've decided to leave the crown molding uh, with the um, ceiling flat because it's a nice continuation anyway. Um, I'm gonna give it probably just one coat. I just wanna refresh it basically. But 
Oh, that's Willie sending me pictures. Um, but yeah, this is, again, this is not a full white. It's kind of like a cream color. It's more like a pale vanilla, I guess. I really like it. And I'm doing everything in eggshell. of time <laughs> I'm only gonna do I'm gonna focus on everything that's inside this room um, ideally I'd like to have time to be able to go on the other side and paint the other side of the door I don't know if I will so I'm gonna focus on this and if I have extra time in the end then I'll go in the hallway and I'll do the other side um, everything that's cotton whisper on the second floor needs to be repainted anyway and freshened up so if I don't do it this time around I could always make it you know a weekend job break it is um, it's gonna be dark soon uh, almost 10 after 6 and I'm having a bowl of grapes and a hot tea I washed my brushes um, almost like brand new so that I can keep the brushes I went downstairs and I got two new rolls one for light blue one for dark blue uh, the brushes, the first one is almost dry, and I brought in the paint. Um, this is bare scuff defense, stain blocking paint and primer. And the color, I forgot, it's spa something. What's the color? Uh, it doesn't, they don't put the sticker anymore. All right, well, anyway, um, it's a light blue. It's, I think it's called Spy Day. And then the other one I remember is um, National Anthem. It's beautiful blue, actually. It's almost, eh, not really. I was gonna say it's almost like The Office, but it's not. It's a little bit tiny darker and with a little bit more purple. So I'm gonna eat my grapes. Have a chat with Willie. Um, I think the issue right now is that he um, he's with a group and they have to pretty much stay with the group. And he wanted to go to Space Mountain. And there was not enough people in the group who wanted to do Space Mountain. 
um, because you can separate the group, but they have to be a certain number. I think they have to be four. Because if you go to a bathroom, three of the kids have to go with you. It's a whole bunch of safety precaution stuff. I, please, the more the better. So I think there was only two kids who wanted to go on Space Mountain. So they would have made three. They couldn't get a fourth one. Um, and if he was going to another group to do it with his other friends, then the leftover of the group would not be enough to be a group. It's very complicated. Only kids understand this kind of math. <laughs> so bottom line, he couldn't go on Space Mountain and he's like, eh, one. He's not upset. Um, but I think he did a Buzz Lightyear ride and um, the Seven Dwarfs train and he may have done Thunder Mountain. Um, I'm not sure, but tonight they're watching the fireworks. Uh, in Magic Kingdom, so that's pretty cool. And um, what else? I think that's it. Yeah, I showed the pictures already. You've seen them there on the Instagram. Yeah, he's got nothing else to say. So I'm just gonna chat with him a little bit, uh, say where, see where he's at, um, eat my grapes, and then when I come back, we're starting the blue. Huh. I gotta figure out how you open this. Oh, wait. I think you use this. Oh my god, this is insane. Gentle reminder, paint is lighter when it's wet. <laughs> okay, and then this goes this way. Okay, um, I have to close the window because it's starting to get a little chilly. Ah, oh, which reminds me, I still have to wash the windows. Um, all right, that'll be part of the last minute thing. Okay, so I don't need to uh, mix it because that paint was literally put together last night at uh, 9.30 p.m. So it's still good. I don't know if this is any better <laughs> than one we had before. Okay, uh, let's get started. I have a tiny brush. Um, I'm much better with a larger brush if it's at eye level or below, but if I have to raise my arm and it's something angled and small, I'm gonna start with the side where the doors are, which is where I started with the white, because it's all dry over there. And I'm gonna do the same route um, and do all the corners. I'm thinking, do I wanna do the dark uh, blue tonight too? I don't have to, I could do the blue, the dark blue tomorrow, I don't know. I have to figure it out at some point. Oops. Okay. It's a pretty blue. It's like a, a very light periwinkle, I guess. It definitely covers. I'm telling you, beer is the best. <laughs>
the edges done. Got the whole one. Now, I heard that you don't go ahead and do a second coat on that. You got to do the middle part first. Because what happens um, is that when you do a second coat and then you put your first coat in the middle, it's going to leave like a little bump, a braised edge, and it shows. No matter how well you paint, it will show. So I'm going to get my roll and we're going to do a first coat in the middle. Crazy, but I think this blue and green actually look pretty good together. It reminds me of something, I don't know what. Uh, maybe just earth and air, I guess, perhaps, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the yellow is gone. I got all the blue um, on. I can't do a second coat yet because it's, you can see it shine, right? It's still wet. So instead what I'm gonna do is start the dark blue. Because if I can do the first coat tonight of both colors, it will cure overnight. And tomorrow morning, I'll do the second coat. And that gives me plenty of time to put the stuff back where it belongs, really, really scrub the floor, and perhaps um, start building some stuff. So I'll definitely have the floor done. I'll have the rug put in. Um, I may unpack all of the other stuff. I do have a ton of laundry to do because um, I, I bought a new bedding in blue. <laughs> this color is gorgeous. We picked the right combo. So this one again is called National Anthem. Um, very similar to the office. A bit darker. Oh yeah, very nautical, which he doesn't care about. <laughs> uh, but he wanted blue, two different blues. So. It is 9.30. Um, I'm ready to do the middle of the dark blue. I have to tell you, um, I'm a half away, you know, I'd be done by 10.30 for sure. And tomorrow morning when I get up, I will be half a day ahead. So I'm happy about that. Um, yes, it was a long day. But I figured if I crunch as much as possible today, instead of rushing at the end, I'll be able to take my time. Uh, and this blue, phenomenal. It absolutely, I'm looking at my screen, it looks nothing like that in, uh, in real life. Uh, it is a, a totally different blue. Uh, but anyway, in the, on the viewfinder it looks just like my office, but it's not. The same blue. 
Um, so I'm going to do that. And then when I come back, I'll say goodbye. I'll show you where I'm at. Uh, and then I'll talk about what I'm going to do tomorrow. And that would be it. So yeah, let me finish this. I should be done in about half an hour. Oh, all right. Hey guys, that's it for me today. All right. That's enough. That is enough. Oh man, it looks so good. I love that dark blue at the bottom. Yeah, this is looking really good. And this is the reason why I changed the light bulbs to daylight. Um, because I wanted to see what it looks like, you know, with good lighting. Now, I do have a few touch-ups. Not too much. Here and there, you know, um, where the brush skipped or whatever, where I wasn't being careful. It's really minimal. Not a lot, not a lot. So tomorrow, when I come back, I'll do a uh, second coat. So that'll be my first order of business in the morning. Um, the second coat always goes faster, by the way. And then I'll clean up the whole room because it's starting to look like a dump. <laughs> I'll clean up the whole room and then I'll work on the floor. And I'll bring in the rug and bring all the boxes uh, of stuff that needs to be assembled or maybe I'll just pull everything out of the boxes and start building something. I may put the one shelf here in the corner. Um, the desk is wood and black, black metal and wood this color. And then the bed is all black metal. Um, so I bought a zigzag shelf here that's like um, black. And then I got him some baskets um, that hang on the side of the bed, the bunk bed, no, loft bed. So that way he can put stuff in there and he, I bought him a lamp. He's going to have a, uh, a truck light right here. I mean, I'm really setting him up. I can't get over this color. <laughs> I really like blue, you know that? I do. It's a nice combo. I think he did a good job um, picking the colors. Five to ten. So I worked, what, 14 hours, something like that. I said I was going to do the whole day. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. Um, okay, I'm tired, all right? I am, uh, I'm tired and I'm hungry more than anything else. This was a very productive day. I'm very happy to be at this stage. Um, again, tomorrow, just one coat. And even that, light. I don't even have to like go crazy. Um, the ceiling looks good. I'm actually glad I painted it. Now that it's all flat and dry, it looks good with that chair rail, it looks really nice. So, um, yeah, it was a lot, but again, I only have three days. So I had to ask him if he wants to keep the buffalo. I think the buffalo would look really good against the wall because it's got blue in it. It's just a matter of figuring out where to put it. Um, but yeah, so comment down below, let me know what you think of the color combo. Here it is again. Um, National Anthem and Spa Day. I think it's Spa Day. And um, tell me if you're looking forward to seeing the whole thing. Ah, with the navy blue velvet curtain, it's going to look really cool. Oh, and the bean bag. <laughs> With the bin bag, it's gonna be transformed. It's gonna be a totally different room, um, which is a good thing. It's about time he gets his own room, his own style, what he wants. Again, couldn't do it, pandemic, you name it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, share it, subscribe right here in the corner. And then, that's it. I'm really tired. I gotta go, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go eat, take a shower, and then come back tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, bye. bye.